Hi everyone, this is Doug Nelson with Precision Neuromuscular Therapy and welcome to an anatomy review for Precision Neuromuscular Therapy for the legs and feet. One of the most important things about this particular seminar is that principle that pain in the knee, pain around the knee, is often thought to be a very serious kind of intrajoint pathologies. People start thinking about the ACL, PCL, you know, all sorts of quite serious, actually, injuries inside the joint. What many people do not realize is that muscle attachments and things outside the joint, extra joint issues, can also present with many of those same symptoms. What that means is so many people struggle with pain in this area and do not realize that really precise soft tissue work could make a difference. <clears throat> and that's, I think, one of the things that you'll really see in this seminar, how much some of these techniques <clears throat> will make a difference in people who honestly didn't expect it. And that's a really cool thing to happen in the clinic. So in terms of familiarizing yourself with the muscles, make sure that you spend some time, of course, with the quadriceps and starting first with the vastus lateralis. This thing is massive. It is so big and has so many implications for treatment, mostly, honestly, that has to do with lateral knee pain. But, you know, in this picture, get a sense of the ITB and the mass of the vastus lateralis that lies underneath it and even posterior to it, which could easily be mistaken for a hamstring issue. Uh, not only easy, but has been done many times in the past. Um, and above this, you'll see the attachment of the TFL to the ITB and also the gluteus maximus to the ITB. So here's another more focused picture on the TFL itself and its attachments. And while we spent time with the TFL in the hip seminar, in this particular seminar, really more interested in the ITB attachments, for instance, at the knee. And there are four, sometimes five attachments of the ITB in the lateral knee. And so we want to isolate and focus on each one of those attachments. So do take a look at that anatomy. Um, uh, we're jumping to the lower leg here, but the tibialis anterior and tibialis posterior. You know, it's really funny. Talk about uh, underrated. When I looked for pictures for the tibialis anterior, uh, not that many and not that really good ones, not that many good ones. So I think, again, both of these muscles are underrated in terms of their symptom presentations and how important they can be. As we look at, um, again, the muscles around the knee, uh, what I'd like you to do is here's the vastus medialis, here's the vastus lateralis. This is a lovely drawing in one sense, but far from reality because look at how large the medialis is and how small the vastus is. Uh, that is just not close to reality. For most people, this muscle is substantially smaller. This part of the vastus is called the VMO, vastus medialis oblique very important in counterbalancing this massive lateralis. And here, of course, is the rectus femoris tendon itself, which again crosses the patella. Look at the tibialis um, attachment coming up here. Here's the extensor digitorum, the peroneus or fibularis longus. So again, I think when you look at just this picture alone, gives you a sense of all these muscle attachments around the knee itself. Any one of them can create a whole set of symptoms. So the clearer you are about that landscape, the better uh, you'll be as a therapist and also in the, um, the seminar itself. Looking from the medial aspect, here again is the vastus medialis, sartorius, gracilis, and semitendinosus, all on its way to the pizanserine. So which is in this area, again, looking at medial knee issues. And here you have the medial head of the gastroc coming up. So um, we won't spend much time with the plantaris, but we will spend time with the popliteus. So make sure you're familiar with that anatomy as well. Um, again, uh, this isn't exactly uh, typically accurate, um, but again, we'll teach you palpation skills that will help you know on your person, not on a picture, not on some app you have on your phone, but on that person 
exactly where is the popliteus. Gastroc and soleus, medial and lateral heads of the gastroc, and the soleus underneath it. Um, very important here because this is the soleal canal, and through that goes the posterior tibial nerve, and also the blood supply to the lower leg. So very, very important muscles. And of course, uh, we'll spend time with on the foot with the plantar fascia. So take a look at the apneurosis and, and understand the anatomy um, of the apneurosis. Underneath it, now you have the flexor digitorum brevis muscles, the digiti minimi, and, and we will definitely spend some time with this very important muscle called the abductor halysis. Underneath that layer, this is the quadratus plantae. Again, very important muscle um, that presents oftentimes as um, heel pain in the foot. So um, review the anatomy. Uh, I think you're really gonna find everything that we present in this seminar incredibly useful and relevant and things that you are gonna use in your clinic as soon as you get back in the office. Thank you very much for attending Precision Neuromuscular Therapy for the Legs and Feet.